14. It's kind of cutting into the passage, but I'm going to start there and you'll be able to understand why when we get into the meat of the word. Amen? First Corinthians chapter number 2, beginning at verse number 14, in the name of Jesus. We do stand for the reading of God's word, so when we get there, I please, I, I do ask that you please He's stand in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and turn this up. Go ahead and go And God be the glory. So many good saints in the house today. God bless you. Matter of fact, I didn't take a moment. I greet those that are first timers. God bless you. And those of you that are reoccurring family, I'm so glad you're here. Amen. 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 Jesus. Amen. Amen. I pray that you're so glad to be here. Amen. As well. Yes, Amen. Lord. Jesus. I have something for you. He wouldn't just allow you to just show up for nothing. I hope you came expecting. That's what hope is. Amen. If he has you here, there's a reason why you're here tonight. Amen. Amen. First Corinthians chapter number uh, ch chapter number two, beginning our reading at verse number fourteen. Understand, people of God, we are stepping into a passage and we're going to expound on it but just know this is where i'm starting amen yes. uh, thank you i'm reading from the new king james translation and the word of the lord god says but the natural man does not receive the things of the spirit of god for they are foolish to him nor can he know them because they are spiritually discerned but he who is spiritual judges all things Yet he himself is rightly judged by no one. But whom, for who has known the mind of the Lord that they may instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Father God, we thank you for this word. We're asking Holy Spirit to move up and down these aisles. Touch every man, every woman, every boy, every girl. And we thank you for what you're going to do and say. And we said amen. 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 You may be seated in this presence in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We're taking any notes tonight in the name of Jesus. There is a message as well as a word. The word for tonight is mind. Mind. M-I-N-D. Mind. If you're taking any notes, the title of tonight's message is the mind. the mind. Amen. Wow. Hallelujah. Not that I difficult, know. right? All right. Wow. In the name of wow. Jesus. Wow. Hallelujah. And as I come before, I love to define a word before. And this message may get a little deep. I hope you came ready in the name of Jesus. Because, you know, we, we need to understand the things of God. Amen. I don't know about you. I don't like to just be passing over the things of God. I like to get a better understanding what is my dad is saying in this time and in this season. I want to know what is he talking to me about. And so whenever I define the word, as the Lord God direct me for this message, the my mind is defined as an element of a person that enables them to be aware of the world and their experiences. I will repeat that. Webster's definition of the mind is the element of a person that enables them to be aware of the world and their experiences. You can do a little semicolon or drop down and put part of a person's feelings or perceived reasons and wills. Oh my Lord, there we go. Let me call and put a person's feelings, perceives, uh, perceived reason and will. Amen and amen. Whenever you hear about the mind, according to Webster's definition, it talks about, you'll go into about remembering. Now, I'm going to take my time as I run down this runway before we get on flight. Understand that the mind is an area where we utilize and where I, we come into thought and bring things into remembrance and you start thinking, you start using that, that thing that's in between your two ears, it's called your brain, amen? And you start utilizing that mind. And, and according to Webster's, it is something to make you aware of. It has a lot of different capabilities. But I love the biblical definition of mind. The biblical definition of a mind is a thought system, a conscious reflection, and perception. Lord have mercy. I'm going to repeat that. The biblical definition is a thought system uh, of conscious reflection and perception. It makes a difference. And also, we keep in mind, it says conscious of 
reflection, and perception. It also means that whatever your biblical definition, it's a part of, uh, of discerning falls into that. Amen. Spiritual discernment. My Lord. Somebody needs to get that. I, 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 I told you I'm going to yes, Let many people, well, what about spirit? What is spiritual discernment? It's being able to get out of the flesh yes. and be able to pick up things in the spirit. Yes, yes, and yes, that's so important yes, because yes. we got too many people running around in Come flesh. Come on, Jesus. And we need people yes. to be spiritually minded. The Bible talks about when you are natural minded, you are carnal minded. Yes. You keep your mind on the things of this world. Yes. But I want you to know that we are spiritual beings living yes. in this earth realm. Yes. And we got to keep ourselves spiritually minded. Yes. Amen. Amen. So that means you can't think like an average individual. Amen. you got to think like a Christian. You're like, wait a minute. I never know there was a yes, there is a way of thinking. It's called kingdom principles and kingdom ways. Amen. You can't keep your mind hanging around in the hall pen. Oh. Come on. Oh, no. Preach that. Yes. That's, yeah. not, that's not the type of thought that God needs you. If you're going to have the mind of Christ, you need to make sure that your discernment is picked up. It's hacking up. It's spiritually discerned. I'm not talking about now. I'm talking about spiritually discerned. That means you can perceive and pick up something. Mm, am I preaching it around? Right See, sometimes you can pick up something and not even realize that you picked it up. Come on now. Come on now. Uh, it's all, I just let people keep talking. I've learned some things. When I start discerning spiritually. See, in the natural, my discernment comes. But spiritually, when it gets really, really good, I just let them talk. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. Some talk. Yes. You mess around, you mess around, some skeletons, some ball, oh, yes. start falling out. You're like, wait a minute. You didn't even ask for it. Oh. But the Lord God said, but see, when you're discerning, you can pick that. I'm a, I give a great example of this because, my Lord, I remember back in the day when we were going out to conferences all over the place. I mean, how I many of you used to be conference hoppers? <laughs> you know, we were conference to conference. We were everywhere. I'm going to conference. And that's my whole mission. I'm going to a conference. And I mean, you know, it's, it, it is good for a season and a time. But sometimes God will have to put your feet underneath the table. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody's going to get that right there. That's that maybe a nugget right there. You may be going to like, not going any conference. It might be because the Lord God's trying to get you to eat in one place. Yeah. But when you get some meat, you be said, you go home, you're like, Mom, what did no what was that? Wait a minute, God, talk to me. That's when you know God giving you some meat. And I'm saying that whenever you're spiritually discerned. Let me give you a good example of it. I went to a conference and, and the song that came up, they were singing about, you know, breaking shackles. You know, chains coming off. You know, uh, you know, breaking shackles and breaking chains off. And there was a, a few individuals on my room. That they start doing. Now, see, I'm, I'm dating myself. See, some of you babies that's under, maybe that y'all may not know what I'm talking about. But those of you who are above Jubilee, or maybe a little bit, uh, they start singing shackles on my feet. I was like, wait a minute. I was like, wait a minute. See, nobody knew that. I'm telling my age. Because back in the day, there was a song. I was like, wait a minute. We up there. Uh, you know, I mean, you know, Mary, Mary, shackles. Okay. We're doing that. They're doing shackles on my. I'm like, wait a minute. Wrong shackle, baby. Wrong place. Just trying to let the sermon. I was like, hmm? <laughs> so wait a minute. They're in the wrong situation right there. We're talking about breaking things off of us. They talking about getting their groove on. I'm like, wait a minute, God. I politely moved myself from that road right there. Because I can tell there were going to be some spirits coming over there that I didn't come to the conference to get. <laughs> you see, y'all think y'all think I'm strange, but you must understand. Whenever God's giving you something spiritually, and we just begin to spiritually discern, you don't need nobody to tell you nothing. You need it automatically. Amen. Amen. Because spiritually, you're like I can tell right now. Somebody gave me this Holy Ghost, and I am not about to do that. Well. Yes. 
in order for you. We're talking about the mind today. The Lord God is having me praying about the mind. People of God, we need to have the mind of Christ. And when you're having the mind of Christ, that means you're able to spiritually discern. I know people don't like to talk about that because it seems like you're like superhuman, but you know what? Why not operate in your gifts and your callings? Right. 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 Why you gotta be afraid of that? Why you gotta, uh, I, I hate to say it and I don't mean to offend anybody. Why you gotta dumb down yourself? The mind of Christ. Yes. The mind of Christ. That means I'm not going to be just acting on my feelings all the time. All the time. Yes. 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 Yes.
mind of Christ. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You are spiritually discerning something when you're not just looking at the book of uh, the exterior and begin to pick up things that are inside. You can discern a spirit from a right back yeah. 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 You don't even need to see more people. Well, I gotta get come on. You ain't gotta get close. Yeah. You're standing in a distance yeah. and discern that thing like come oh, on. That's yeah. the the Lord right yeah. there. Right. 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 That you're not actually judging the individual mm -hmm. into yes, what God in, in those realms, that you're judging them according to how God would have for you to spiritually discern them. Yes. Yes. So that how God can pick yeah, up things. And I'm good. loving that. God's trying to mature us tonight, people yes. of God. Yes. 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 I like yes. to we're going to be, but we're just going to go home. Yes. 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 Recognize when the spirit's 
they recognize the spirit now. So that means when I start arguing, I know which one I'm fighting. Yes. He begins to remove, you know, those things that make you feel down. 
You're like Paul said, yeah, they're there, but the Lord God said, I don't need for you to think on your problem. I need you to think on your purpose. All right. All right. Come on now. Your purpose. You see, we all here have a purpose. Yes. Amen. You're not just born here to take up space. Amen. Come on now. You have a purpose. The Lord God said, Why do you think God does not bring you to the hell you've been living? Come on. Amen. Oh, 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 oh. Amen. Oh, you just sit here and just stay on the all Oh, no, no. no. He gave you a purpose. Amen. It's not just to testify. Look what the Lord has done. And they see where you are, yes. and they're like, wait a minute, that was your, and this, they're like, got to be a God. Yes. 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 Amen. Amen. I, I don't need nobody else. I need to lift them up. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, yes. 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 Been there. Oh, oh no, but I'm done with that. <laughs> All right. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I got a new ruler. Hallelujah. Yes. yes. Lord. Lord yes. All those that are delivered from people pleases you. Know what I'm talking about. Amen. Amen. Yes. Whatever you used to live to please people, my God, what a bunch of bad times. Oh, my Lord. Everything from the bed to this, that, to the dishes, the car. Right. You gotta be able to receive that as the Lord God said, as you put it into 
through your own mind how good God is to yes, you. Is. How good God is. Open up the Lord for you. You gotta change your perspective. Yes. And truly enough, the Lord gotta say to people of God, I need you discerning. Come on. But I also need for you to start thinking much more highly of yourself. Oh, Amen. Now. Start getting out of those spirits that were bringing you down low. You gotta get out of that. You're not complaining about, oh, there's some people of God that's in the Word that have dealt with that. You may not have thought about it, so you're like, you know what, I don't really like to talk about it. 